What is up guys, it's Captain here, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to make a game or app using Game Salad. Now, in case you're somewhat experienced or ever picked up this program before, this tutorial is probably not for you as it's very basic and is very good for new people that's never used this program before. Now, um, before this video starts, I wanted to let you guys know that I have a Steam group, and if you uh, join it, there's a lot of perks in to joining it. You can do shoutouts for your YouTube channel, get subscribers and views, you can tell uh, stories or whatever you want on the Steam group, and if you join the group, we're trying to get a, a certain amount of members, and every 1,000 to 500 members, there's a milestone that gets rewarded where I'll do a giveaway, or possibly you could be in a video with me. Now let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and download Game Salad. It's uh in the link. It's in the description. My bad. Um, I most likely will be doing another tutorial. However, it'll be on Unreal Engine as it's very more advanced. But uh, this is very basic and a lot easier to use for some of you. So I used uh, Unreal Engine. I think it's a lot better graphics-wise and just way more you can do. This is very limited, but Hey, it's less coding and uh, a lot better, I think, for making an app on the phone. But let's go ahead and get started. So what you want to go ahead and do is hit new. Um, I'm just going to name this, you know, whatever, my great project. Uh, I'm going to do an iPhone 5 portrait and uh, create project. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, create a scene. So as you see, we have the initial scene and then we'll have the official we'll have the menu here and then we'll add one more and this will be the game so initial scene I think it should be um, how I would do it is let me go ahead and show you first we're gonna go ahead and click on this tab that's for media for images and audio and uh, we're gonna go ahead and add and uh, like a branding so if you ever played like uh, Clash of Clans or Clash Royale or some crap like that you probably see it where it says Supercell right before it starts. That's the people who make the game. That's usually how people do their branding before the game starts. So we're going to do the same to our game. So uh, you can just make a logo, use an example, picture, whatever you want to do. And uh, for this, so I'm going to just add this straight, in, straight into it. Go ahead and scale this down. Remember, I'm not the best at this. I've just started picking this up. And uh, nowhere near advanced as a lot of these other people using Game Salad. So if you want to go ahead and test it, you could hit the play button. As you see, there you go. Looks pretty good for just uh, just adding an image in. I think it looks pretty good. Now, um, you're probably wondering, well, uh, where's the game? This is just a picture. We'll get to that part, but uh, in this video, we're probably just going to be doing a main menu and just the scene. So um, let's go ahead and... Uh, okay, so we need to add an actor. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to rename this to branding... Brand underscore intro is what I'm going to name this. It really doesn't matter. You can really name this to whatever you want. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to name it that. That's how I usually would do it. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the behaviors library. I'm going to go ahead and look for the uh, change scene and drag this here. We're going to look for the uh, timer right here. So we're actually going to move this up. And you want to make sure this, it says right here, type or drag. You want to make sure you drag the uh, chain scene right onto this. Uh, it's not letting me for some reason. Okay, so right there. So as you can see, this is combined now. So we're going to do four, uh, four seconds, run to completion. It will change to the next scene. In case you don't want to do next scene or it's not working correctly, we're going to make it change to the menu. So let's just go ahead and try this. Let me go ahead and add a, uh, we're going to add another image. And we'll use this background I created. We're going to go to the scene and we're going to click on the menu now. Make sure, this is, pretty, this is uh, probably something that will confuse you. Make sure you always select the scene, the correct scene, before adding your images and whatever to it. So as you see, I added the image to this scene. So now we're going to go to the menu. And I'm going to add the uh, background. So as you see, we've got the background right here. Put that there. And we're going to go ahead, go to the initial scene, and we're going to hit play. Okay, so 
as you see it somewhat works it hits it says my name and it quickly does that um something's a little bit glitched out so let's go ahead and fix that uh let's go ahead and go to the actor where it says brand intro let me go ahead and make sure everything's working correctly so for okay so yeah for for four seconds it should change to the next scene that's what it's supposed to be doing Sometimes it glitches out for me and it gets pretty annoying. So let me just make sure. So I'm gonna do four. Hit play. It's glitching out. So we'll do after. There we go. Um, it should work now. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. It's after, not four. I'm sorry. So we're gonna do three seconds. So we hit play. It says my intro. It says Matt S Games. That's my name. There we go. It goes to the menu. Menu. Sorry goes to the main you I apologize for that though all right so um as you can see we're on the main menu um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to the actors hit uh, hit the little plus I'm actually gonna rename this to background underscore game we're gonna rename this actor to play underscore button or play underscore game no I'll just name it button sorry Okay, so button, it really, as I said earlier, it doesn't matter. Um, so for the media, I'm going to add one more. And we'll use this plus sign. This is actually the default Flappy Bird plus thing, but um, it doesn't really matter. We could just use whatever. You know, just make sure you don't get copyrighted and stuff like that. But it's just a, this is really not a big deal. I could just make this a Photoshop in three seconds. So we're just doing this for the sake of the tutorial. So as you see, we're going to add this, uh, add this right here because I'll show you what happens if you... You see where it says blue? It's going to do that. So if you want to undo something, hit Control plus Z. It'll undo it. So we're just going to add this right here. Drag this right there. And then if we hit play, Matt S. Games, that's my name. That's our little intro. And then there's a plus sign. That's the play button. As you see, if I click it, nothing happens. So what we're going to do next is make it happen. We're going to go to the menu. Go to the game. And we're going to add this background again to the game, to this scene now. And then um, let's add another image. And uh, I was messing around and I made this little making fun of Donald Trump kind of like thing. Um, oops. Kind of joke thing I made, so it's not like anything serious. I was just really bored and decided to make this. So, this is a little logo called Trump Soccer I made in like five seconds. It was a little joke I was going to make for uh, the iPhone. Anyways, um, I'm just going to add that logo into right there. So as you see, there's the initial scene, the main menu, and then the actual game. So, we're going to go ahead to the menu. Or, yeah, to the menu. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did, but with the with this... If you remember, we just did the uh, where it changes from the scene one with our intro into the main menu. We're going to do that, but from the main menu into the game now. So we're just going to do the same process. If you don't remember, go to the behaviors and go to the uh, change scene. Uh, hold on. Okay, uh, you want to make sure you click on the uh, little play button that you have. So whatever play button or whatever you uh, want to be able to click on to make it change to the game, you want to click on that and then it should show up right here. So here's the background. You want to make sure you click on the right one. So let me just undo something. I don't know why it duplicated. Anyways. So here we got the uh, button, we're going to click on that, then we're going to go ahead to behaviors, do change scene, add timer, and then we're going to change it to the game, and we're going to do after one second, and we're going to go ahead and move this up, drag the scene, change scene into the timer, run to completion, make sure you check that, hit the play button, let's make sure it works. Click play and now it opens into the game. So that's pretty much it in this video. Um, you just made a simple main menu. It actually didn't take long. Um, most people are probably going to be turned off by how long this video is. 
I'm not quite sure how long it is, but uh, this is pretty easy. Nothing crazy, and I just picked this uh, program up not too long ago, so Matt S Games, hit the play button, and then the game will essentially be right here and you can play. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like, and uh, if you have any problems or concerns or questions, leave it in the comments. And uh, always remember to read the description, there could be some useful information down there that you guys could probably use before commenting. And uh, yeah, it's a very simple tutorial, uh, nothing crazy. Um, hopefully I can get better at this so I can make better tutorials. If you guys do want to see more of these type of tutorials, let me know, or any other game engine such as Unreal Engine, I'm a lot better on there. Um, let me know that as well. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.